What's up guys, Tobias here and welcome to my first ever Team of the Season player review. So today we're going to be have a look at the Spanish striker Ruben Castro. You guys have been asking me to do lots and lots and lots of Team of the Season player reviews ever since they came out in packs and that is what I'm planning to do. So as this is my first Team of the Season or even a player review which I've done in probably around a year on my channel, please do leave some constructive feedback in the comment section below. I'm hoping that you guys will let me know a few pointers that I can do to improve my player reviews that I do in the future. So as I did just say then we are going to be having a look at Ruben Castro today. When he first came out and packs last week on the Wednesday, he did start to go onto the market for around 150,000 coins. But ever since then, he has been slowly and surely decreasing in price. And I did actually manage to pick him up yesterday, three days after he was released in packs for 72,000 coins. So this, as you can see on the screen now, how the market was looking when I'd first started looking at him. He is coming down in price, which is good news for every single player on Ultimate Team. You know, you don't want to be spending a ridiculous amount of coins on players. And as you can see here, these are his in game stats. So while uh, we look at his in-game stats really quickly now, they're going to be off your screen in a minute and we are going to be having a look at some of the goals and the way he plays online uh, through some clips and while you watch them, I'm going to be talking about the player cons and pros as to what I found about Ruben Castro when I was playing with him online as well as looking at some of his in-game stats a little bit more in depth. So the one thing I really did like about Ruben Castro was his shot power. He does only have shot, uh, long shots of 80, however he does have finishing of 90 and shot power of 85. Now, whenever I, he got on the ball and he was in some space, whether he was inside or outside of the box, I felt that if he was given that little bit of space, he was going to absolutely rocket it into the top hand corner. Now, as you did here, just say, I did say he did need some space. That was one thing I didn't like about Ruben Castro. Whenever he was on under pressure or he had players like pushing him, jostling to get off the ball, I felt that he was absolutely useless. He was only effective with that shot power and that finishing when he did have that space. That was probably the major disadvantage I did find of Ruben Castro was his strength. Now looking at his in-game stats he does only have 63 strength which for a striker especially when he is the one and only striker in your squad obviously that does depend on whatever formation you are playing him in but I believe I'm playing him in the 4-3-3 formation in this squad which does mean he is only going to be alone up front with that one striker obviously he does have that left winger and that right winger supporting him but when he's by himself you're going to have your opposition's defence all over him and with that 63 strength I found him um, not as strong as he would. I would have liked to find him. I mean when Whenever he got on the ball, it felt like I either needed to get him into space as quickly as possible, otherwise he was going to be pushed off the ball. And he did, I did find that he was on the floor a lot of the time. So that said, though, he does have pace of 86 on his card, as well as that 86 pace. He does also have that acceleration of 89 and that sprint speed of 86. Now, as soon as he picked up the ball, I find that his acceleration of 89 acceleration stat, which is on his card, extremely true. As soon as he picked up the ball, he was absolutely away. However, I felt that sprint speed of 86 wasn't as true as it should have been. I did find that whenever he was off the ball, he was extremely, extremely quick. Yet, as soon as he got onto the ball, he was extremely slower. Now, I know with a lot of players on Ultimate Team, they are quicker off the ball as they are on the ball, which I completely understand. That's going to be the case for every single player in the game. Don't get me wrong. However, when I got Ruben Castro on the ball, I felt like as if his pace absolutely halved. I mean, he was extremely slow whenever he was on the ball, so it was extremely useless when he was being pushed around by players. As I said, his pace... Um, his pace is really high, yet that strength of 63 does not help him out at all. As you can see here, he's getting pushed off the ball a little bit. A lot of the time, he does manage to stay on the ball, yet with that 63 strength, it does not help when he finds himself on the ball and your opposition has picked up the ball. So that is the downside of Ruben Castro. He is slow when he is on the ball and does find that he does need to be um, he does need to be in his own space to manage to contain the ball and keep hold of it. However, when we look at his work rates, that is something I did find really uh, positive about this player. His attacking work rate was medium, so that does mean he's going to be hanging around the middle of the pitch and that defensive work rate which is low does mean that he isn't going to be getting back to help your defence too much. I mean obviously players will always get back and help the defence when they're needed however with that low defensive work rate that does mean um, that he's going to be lingering around the centre of the pitch and waiting to break when he gets the ball. So that is my player review of Ruben Castro. I want, did want to keep it short and sweet. If you've got the coins I would highly recommend him simply because of that shot power. He's an absolute animal whenever he gets into that space however his strength isn't the greatest and his sprint speed is his extremely low when he does get on the ball. So I hope you did enjoy this. As always, we could smash 1,000 likes. That would be absolutely awesome. Please do let me know in the comment section below any feedback you guys can give me to improve my player reviews. And if you would like to leave a comment saying who you'd like to do see me review next, that would be absolutely awesome. And until my next video, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.